What's going on guys, I am the Walrus Jedi, and welcome to another ship video. In today's video will be the Y-Wing Starfighter. So if you like these ship videos, then please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell for more in the future. And in the comment section of this video, go ahead and state which uh, ship you would like in the next video. Without further ado, let's get right to the Y-Wing. The Conesayer BTL S3 Y-Wing Attack Starfighter. Prior to the advent of the X-Wing, the Y-Wing served as the Rebel Alliance's primary attack starfighter. The snub fighter, characterized by its triangular cockpit and two long engine pylons, was critical to many early battles, but ultimately proved less versatile than the X-Wing. Although, outdated by the time of the Battle of Yavin, the Y-Wing's durability and heavy firepower ensured it a place in the New Republic fleet even well into the Yuuzhan Vong invasion. While the Alliance relied on the Y-Wing for everything from escort duty to reconnaissance, the Starfighter was originally designed for close quarters combat with space stations and large starships. Light bombing runs and surgical strikes are also part of the Y-Wing's mission profile. The Starfighter's weapons and placements are fairly modular. Most Rebel Y-Wings used a pair of laser cannons and a rotating ion cannon. The Y-Wing can be equipped with proton torpedoes, concussion missiles, and proton bombs for more direct assaults. As on the X-Wing, an R2 or R4 astromech droid fits into a droid socket behind the cockpit and monitors all flight, navigation, and power systems. The droid can also handle fire control, perform in-flight maintenance, and reroute power as needed. Most importantly, the R2 unit stores several hyperspace jump coordinates to allow quick retreats. Y-Wings proved invaluable early in the Galactic Civil War. In particular, the Starfighters were lauded for their role in holding TIE bombers at bay during the Siege of Ankh Kishor. As the Civil War continued, it became apparent that the Y-Wing could not be the Alliance's sole Starfighter. The Y-Wing lacked the payload capacity speed, stealth, and maneuverability of many Imperial attack fighters and couldn't survive encounters with TIE interceptor squadrons. Fortunately, the arrival of the X-Wing allowed the Y-Wing to be used for more specialized combat roles. Y-Wings were often used at major engagements to soften targets such as Star Destroyers before capital ships moved in. Alliance engineers also mastered the Y-Wing's design and found that it could be easily modified and reconfigured. Alliance technicians often stripped a Y-Wing of bulky armor and generators before an assault on an Imperial convoy, or prepared the craft for bombing runs by adding more powerful shields and significantly increasing the vehicle's payload. Y-Wings also serve on diplomatic escort missions and for long-range patrols. The BTL-A4 Y-Wing, LP, or Long Probe, has extra provisions, more powerful sensors, and a sophisticated nav computer specifically for patrol and reconnaissance duty. A version of the Y-Wing with an extended cockpit supports a co-pilot who generally functions as a gunner. In the technical readout for the Y-Wing, it is 16 meters long, maxed speed, 2,700 Gs. It has a class 1 hyperdrive and can go 1,000 kilometers per hour on its normal engines. It is manufactured by Conesayer and it is affiliated with the Rebel Alliance. And then if you look at the diagram, you have figure one is the laser cannons, and then two is the ion cannon, which is up top above the cockpit. Three is the proton torpedo launcher, which is below the cockpit. Then four is the sensor array. Five is the ion jet engine. Six is the power generator. And seven is the detachable cockpit that uh, some versions have. Not every single Y-Wing can have a detachable cockpit, but some do. Well, that is a bit about the uh, the Y-Wing. So yeah, let me know if you uh, learned anything new about this uh, ship in the comment section down below. And again, also let me know what uh, ship you would like to see in the next video. Right now, there is uh, some other lore-based videos on the screen right now, uh, including the uh, previous video on the X-Wing. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and until next time, thanks for watching.